Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here. Back finally with a new video. It's been a little while since I've done one. I've had some things that were kind of taking more uh, of my time and were kind of more important than uh, worrying about YouTube. Even though I've had notes and stuff ready for a bunch of videos, I'm going to try to knock some of them out over the next couple of days. Um, but my dog got, you know, a little sick and, you know, wasn't sure what in the world was wrong with him. We finally got him into his vet and I uh, found out he has inflammation of his spine and uh, he kind of got put on bed rest for a little while, see how that works. Because, you know, if things got any worse, he was either going to have to have surgery or he may never walk again. So that's been kind of occupying my mind, among other things. And, um, you know, you notice a new background. That's because, you know, I have to take him, carry him in and out of the house to go to the bathroom. He can walk around to go to the bathroom, but he doesn't need to be running up and down the stairs. And, you know, he gets locked up most of the day while I'm at work. So I try to keep him there. And then he was locked up most of the day today because I was out running errands. And, you know, I wanted him to be out as much as possible because I hate locking him up and just as much as he hates being locked up. So he's uh, laying up on the couch here with me, relaxing. And, you know, if I tried to go in the other room, he would try to get down and run around the house trying to find me. And he needs to rest as much as possible. So I'm just going to record a bunch of videos. Um... Right here on the couch, so like I said, that's why I got a different background, so enough with all that. That kind of explains my little hiatus, plus I think I was just kind of getting a little burnt out on everything. So we're going to kick things off by rating the latest Metalhead box. Uh, this is the June edition of the box. Again, uh, killer artwork on these packages, and last month they actually got smart and put the tracking sticker on the back. Yet again, this month, they put it on the front. I was able to get it off, but I still got to take something to get all that sticky residue off. It pisses me off if they do that. But i uh, going to kick things off with uh, this month's pin, and this was a killer box. Um, I have not had a chance to listen to the music when I get to that, just to let you know. i uh, got this awesome uh, Megadeth pin. And I actually finally took uh, my idea and made it reality. I got a cork board, and I started... Uh, I pretty much put every pin that I've gotten from this box on there and uh, this is going to go on right next and uh, before I continue on though if you are not familiar with the metal head box I usually do this spiel before I start showing stuff but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself uh, it is a monthly subscription service for metal heads by metal heads uh, each month you get a box or in this case now a really cool package uh, it has you know an exclusive t-shirt that the um, Metalhead box works with the bands to create. Sometimes it might be an older design, but it's changed up a little bit, or it's usually an exclusive design that they collaborate with and make. Uh, you get CDs. They got LP uh, box sets for you vinyl collectors. They got tape box sets. They have different boxes where you can just get just the music, not any of the extra goodies. Um, just all kinds of different stuff. I will be leaving a link down below so you can check out the Metalhead box for yourself and subscribe. I know I've been a loyal subscriber ever since the third box. I'm still pissed I missed the first two. But it is what it is. So, yeah. Continuing on, uh, we have this month's uh, patch. And if you were not familiar, by the way, going back to the pin there, this is the uh, cover from their uh, Peace Cells, But Who's Buying 1986 full-length album. Uh, yeah, it's their second album, I do believe. Uh, but this month's patch, we have this awesome Absu patch. Uh, of course, you know, very popular very legendary black thrash band out of Plano, Texas that was active between 1991 and uh, 2020. They are currently split up. And then uh, the shirt this month, this badass coffin mulch shirt. And what is so funny is that um, I actually just ordered the new coffin mulch directly from their band camp because I couldn't find it anywhere else. Uh, luckily I did because they only had like 10 copies left and I knew if they ran out I was probably not going to be able to find it anywhere else. And uh, I tried to find a shirt there and they didn't have any of my size so i was mad about that and uh it was like well it's like i really want to call for mulch shirt but i guess i'll have to wait and then not long after i placed that order this box showed up and it had a coffin mulch shirt in it so i was like well that works <laughs> so yeah on to the cds this month uh two bands that i have no idea who they are uh first up we have siege column with inferno death passion and there's the back the band members But, uh, yeah, these guys are uh, death metal out of New Jersey. Not exactly sure when they uh, were formed. There was no info on the metal archives for that. But this is their debut full-length album put out by Nuclear War Now in 2018. And uh, the stuff I was reading about it seemed like it ought to be a pretty good uh, album. So I'm really excited to check that out. And then we have Abordo Faciant. 
probably butchered that, with In the Crypt of Gore. There's back. And, whoops. The disc there. Which I still need to replace the tray of because it's kind of shattered. Uh, the tray, anyway, with the teeth. Yeah, again, more death metal. Um, this time out of Belgium. Um, again, another band that I do not know when they formed because there was no info on the archives. But this is their debut EP put out in 2022. Uh, through Nuclear War now. They did put the digital out uh, in 2021, but the CD version came out in 2022. So, yeah, another band I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. So, yeah, like I said, another solid box from uh, Melissa and Company. Uh, I am really excited to see what this next uh, coming month's box is going to have. Um, you know, if you like mystery grab bags each month, this is definitely a service for you, especially if you're a big collector like me. Uh, sometimes you do get stuff that... You already have, but you know what? They got a trade group on Facebook. You can take it into your local store, get store credit, or whatever you want to do with it. If you don't like what you got, you know, if you don't like the shirt, if you don't like the patch or whatever, or the pin, trade it to somebody, sell it to somebody, whatever you want to do. But, you know, I know some people get mad because they can't pick what's in the box, but that's the beauty of this thing is that it's a grab bag. It's a mystery grab bag each month. So, you know, you have potential to discover your new favorite band. Or you might, you know, sometimes a Metalhead box has exclusive CD releases. I know the last several boxes, they've had exclusive CD releases that you can't get anywhere else. So, you know, that's what I love about this service. And once again, like I said, this is a killer box this month. So, yeah, go check out the Metalhead box. I will leave a link down below, like I said. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.